my first video I have shown you that how to prepare skin before makeup, then how to apply foundation, then how I fill in my eyebrows, and last prepared my eyelid for eye makeup. This is the second part of this video, then let's start again. Hello and welcome back. Now I will do my eye makeup. For it I am using this palette and by taking this small fluffy brush I will apply shadow into my crease line. I'm taking this lightest pink for my crease line and today mainly I will work with only these three pink eyeshadows to do an easy eye makeup. Now at the outer corner of my eyelid I will apply this dark pink shadow like a triangular shape on both of my eyes with that same brush. I will take this medium pink and again by using that same brush I will apply it middle inner corner of my eyelid. As now from this palette I will apply a shimmery eyeshadow on my lid. By taking this dark shimmery pink shadow and by the help of a small fat brush I will apply it middle inner corner of my eyelid. To get my desired tone, I am applying it over and over again. Yes, it's done now. As you can see how it turned out the way I want it to be. Then, I will take this light silver shadow to highlight my inner corner. By using this sharp small brush, I am applying the highlighter. Up next, by taking that small angle brush, I will apply shadow under my lower lash line. As I am taking that same dark pink shadow which I have already applied outer corner of my eyelid. As you can see, I am joining with outer corner and bringing towards to the inner corner up to that highlighted area. By taking this medium pink shadow and with that same fluffy brush, I will blend my lower lash line's dark pink shadow. So here it is. And now from LA Colors Matte Palette, I am taking this white shadow to apply it below my eyebrow area as it will give me a soft look to my eye makeup. Now it's blending time. With that same fluffy brush, I will blend my shadows. As I will blend my circular motion at the intersection of shimmery shadow and outer corner shadow and over my crease line. I will take an eye pencil. At first, I will apply it on both of my eyes waterline. Even I will apply it under my top corner lash line. After it, I will apply both of my eyes upper lash line.
by taking that small angle brush, I will try to make a stroke at the outer corner of my eyes, so that it creates an illusion of wing liner. looks like. Now I will use this Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. This mascara is so good that it works almost like a false eyelashes for me. As personally I do not like to use false eyelashes. As now I will apply on top of my upper lash and only on the corner of my upper lash line and will do a zigzag motion for my lower lash line. While it remains wet, I will use my finger and will try to curl my upper corner lash, as it will work like a lash color for me. Then I will moisture my lip by applying Vaseline on it. Now again, I will wet my sponge and take off all excess water from it, as this time I am taking this wet and wild press powder to set my foundation. I will apply it all over my face and neck. Now by taking this big flat brush, I will contour my face. From this palette, I will take this light brown shadow to contour. As by making my face like this motion, I will contour up to middle of my face. And then, like the L shape, I will blend it up to my hairline. Same thing I will do to my other side also. So, here is how my contouring looks like. Now, by taking a fluffy brush and this little dark pink shadow, I will put blush on my cheeks. After taking off the excess, I will make a smiling face so that I can detect the apple of my cheeks. By making a circular motion, I will move towards to the upper of my cheekbones as I will do same on my other side too. Now again, by using that damp sponge, I will take that place powder and at first I am applying it on middle of my face. Then under my contour area so that my contour looks sharper. And now a little I will apply over by blush to bring a natural look as you can see the difference. To highlight I will take this small flat fluffy brush and from same palette I will take this off white shimmery shade. Now by making 3 dots over my top cheekbones I will blend it. Then I will apply it on tip of my nose and upper middle of my lip line. By taking this kind of reddish lip liner, I will draw my lip. As my upper lip is slimmer than my lower lip, that's why I will draw slightly outer area from my upper lip line. As I will draw an X shape on middle of my upper lip now. By stretching my lower lip, I will draw a small straight line. Now I will just connect my lip corner area with those lines. I'm gonna use these two shades of lipstick as I will apply the lighter shade on the middle of my lip and darker shade on both corner of my lips. So at first applying the darker shade. the lighter shade on middle of my lips. After it, I will use a tissue to take off the excess. 
Again, for the second time, I am applying my lipstick. And again, I will take off my excess lipstick by using a tissue. As this kind of process will help your lipstick to stay for much longer. At last, by using this NYX setting spray, I will finish my today's simple party makeup look. As I will spray it like X and middle straight line way on my face. Now instantly, I should fan dry it. Now, I'm gonna just put on this pretty black earring on both of my ear. it I will take off my hair clip. So here is my final look. Hope you found this video helpful. As I have tried my level best to show a beginner's party makeup. If you liked my video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.